Hey everybody and welcome to this month's What's New video for Tecla Structures 2024. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm a senior sales engineer with Trimble and today's feature is all about copying properties to the clipboard. So this is actually a brand new feature in Tecla Structures 2024 to enable you to do manual edits of both the model and drawings a lot faster. So let's take a quick look at what this um, actually looks like. So when I come in here and I double click on something like a beam, and let's say I make a change to this beam, I wanna make this a W14 by 22 and I modify this beam, well maybe this is a change that I need to make to other beams. Maybe not right here, right now, but as I'm working, I know that there's others that are gonna to have to be updated. What I can do is come down here and there are these new buttons for copy to clipboard and paste that allow me to copy that current beam property to a temporary clipboard that I can then paste onto other objects later. So let me copy those settings, and now I can come in here and I can start doing other things. You know, I could change this beam to a uh, W12 by 26, you know, totally unrelated. I could come here and change this beam to, be, to a W10 by 22. But then when I come to another beam that I need to turn into a W14 by 22, I can come down here and paste those properties to this member, which as you can see has updated that piece. Now, it's not just changing existing things. You can also use it to sort of act as a, as a load, in a sense, sort of a, an enhanced apply if you're used to the older um, uh, dialog boxes and structures. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. If I come in here and let's make another totally different beam, I'm gonna make this a W8 by 10, and I'm gonna model in between these, these members here. And then, you know, once again, I want to remember, I want to bring back that W14 by 22 property that I have saved away in my clipboard. I can come down here and once again, click paste, which fills in the property so that now the next member that I create is actually going to be a W14 by 22. Now, these are going to be remembered throughout my Tecla structure session for each object type. So if I come in here, and let's say I zoom in real close and uh, let me grab the property of this weld right here. And I wanna turn this weld into a quarter inch fillet instead of a 3 16 fillet. I'm again going to copy that to the clipboard. And then I'm gonna come over here do some other things, you know, maybe I'm gonna mess with these bolts or maybe mess with this beam again, but then I can come over to a totally different weld and once again, paste that property to this weld. Now, a while ago, I copied a property for a beam, and I've since copied a property to the clipboard for a weld. It still remembers the beam copied property. So if I come in here and grab this W8 by 10, I can still paste and it's remembering that I had copied a 14 by 22 property. So it's actually remembering it per object type. It's not just like a one copied property away. So this can really be a powerful tool for the model side to be able to kind of remember what I've been doing, remember the settings I've been changing and apply those throughout the editing of the model that I'm doing. But as I mentioned, it's not just a model side thing. It's a drawing side thing. So let me go ahead and open up a drawing here that I um, had open uh, earlier this morning. So in this plan drawing, I had a lot of extra stuff that was sort of cluttering up my drawing. So I, I filtered it out and I hid some things. But now I have some marks that are you know, not behaving the way I would like them to. They have these leader lines left over from when they were trying to avoid other stuff. Well, once again, I can come in here, make a change. Maybe I wanna force this to be along the line, but now that's a property that I wanna remember as I'm editing other things. So I'm going to copy to clipboard, but this time I'm actually going to use the hotkey that you see there, Shift and C. So if I Shift C, I've now copied that property I no longer have to come down there to copy or paste. I can just highlight the next object, Shift and V, which is the hot key for pasting, and that moves things along pretty quickly. So I can grab the next piece, Shift V, right? And then I can go through and, and maybe I wanna change something else. I wanna change this dimension string. Let's change this dimension string to be red text, right? I'm gonna modify that and again, copy that to my clipboard. So I'm working, I'm doing some other things. You know, here I see a beam that maybe I wanna shift V, I wanna paste to make that aligned, I wanna shift V. And then I wanna grab maybe this dimension string over here, shift V. So I'm pasting the properties now for a dimension in between 
pasting properties for part marks. So again, not just on the model side, but you can use this on the drawing side to copy and paste your settings very, very quickly when you're doing these types of drawing edits. And I'm just kind of going through shift V, shift V. And if I come across another dimension, um, like these guys here, shift V, it's remembering two different copied properties. Now, another thing that I love about this is it, it is going to remain throughout my session. I mentioned that earlier. So if I go to a totally different drawing, I still have that copied property. Let me come in here and grab a dimension string, shift V, and I'm pasting that same red text. So it's going to be persistent throughout your Tecla session. It's not just per drawing. It's not just per time in the model. Um, so again, a very, very po uh, powerful new function, in my opinion, uh, for you guys to leverage for your editing of model and drawings. So I hope you found this new development helpful. Um, please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.